So that leaves us some time for questions and discussions um, uh, with if you're considering about uh, your own church and signing up to Eco Church or anything that Delith had spoken about. Um, but um, does anybody have anything they would like to to ask or any observations they would like to offer? Yeah, Jenny. There we are. Um, yeah, practically, um, recycling churches, receptacles, back of church. Anybody got any good kind of ideas for stuff you can clutter the back of the church up with that isn't too cluttery, that you can collect your crisp packets and your toothbrushes and your whatever else you're collecting into? And also just kind of, I mean, we, we've kind of been parked for a bit because of this strange thing that we've been, has been going on. Are there any issues we can should consider about people licking their fingers and licking out crisp packets and viruses or, you know, I just, sorry, just, you know, this is how my brain works. I, I, I need to think this through. So, uh, but I, I, um, I kind of want to get us going again. Now we're actually back meeting in person again, but that was something that I would like to start us on. And I, anyone got any good ideas? Anybody like to uh, answer that? Yeah, Jill. Well, I hate to admit that we're using some plastic boxes, but we had some very good stacking um, storage boxes from Ikea, which makes it look very tidy at the back of church and just labeled them clearly with um, flap up lids to put things in. Well, at the um, licking your fingers thing, don't forget 72 hours and it should be safe. So if you get people to put them in the bin themselves, if you uh, take it out of the bin at least three days later, I mean, plastic gloves might be a good idea, but... Just I think all these things through in my head before I get started on it. You worked with the primary school on that as well, didn't you, in Lacha, which I thought was a really good idea. You've got the primary school children involved and they've been bringing stuff to you as well. That may be something to sort of for others to think about. And again, that helps with the engagement and bring in more families inside the church door and possibly stay in for a service now and again, you know, all part of the same idea, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Good. So, um, other uh, any other questions, discussion? Did we say TerraCycle loudly enough? <laughs> Was that TerraCycle? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, TerraCycle. TerraCycle. Yes. The, the people who recycle stuff that the local authority won't might even pay you for it. Yeah. No, good, good program. Mm -hmm. I heard today that um, the co-op are doing a lot more recycling. Um, I was sent a whole list of things that they would collect. Um, I don't know if it's every co-op uh, super, um, supermarket, but certainly some some of them are collecting all sorts of things that um, don't go anywhere else, really. So. Mm. I can share that list with, um, if I send it, I don't know if anyone, perhaps with Jill, I could send it to you and yep. you could circulate it to people who've been yeah, here sure. today, if anyone's interested. But particularly soft plastics, which I was pleased to see, because you, if you go to the recycling centre, everything gets lumped in together and it's very depressing. So, Again, yeah, it was really... Sorry, Trina. For those of you in, again in Swansea, the Swansea Environment Centre have have got. They're doing plastic stuff. They're doing corks from wine bottles. Not that any of us have any wine bottles. <laughs> um, CDs or CD cases. It's definitely the cases. I'm not sure if it's the CDs as well. I'm pretty sure they're doing wellies. Any kids well in tons. Yes. Um, they were doing tablet blister packs, but they recently stopped that even in the last week, I think. Um, so that, you know, have a, have a little pop down to the Environment Centre, mm -hmm. Morgan's Hotel there. They've got they're probably more I've missed out. I, um, toothpaste and uh, cleaning products and stuff you can take down there. And also, if you don't already know, you can take bottles and refill. They've got refill stations. And I think there's one in Sketty now as well, isn't there? Um, 
where you can take your empty washing up liquid bottles and fill them up and your laundry liquid and your soap and loads and loads of other things. So next time you're down in the marina, have a wander in there and I'm sure you'll all be delighted. The, the one in Sketch is generally open in the evening though. Doesn't tend to open in the daytime. No, it's in the, it's in the daytime, it's open, not the evening. They're currently open Tuesday to Saturday. Oh, unless they've changed because for a the while. The shop is open 10 till four. Yeah, because yeah. it's on my road. Oh, there we are. Whenever I go by in the day, it's always closed. Ooh. It's only the Monday, it's closed, I think. Maybe I only go up to Sketty Cross on a Monday. <laughs> uh, all right, other other questions or comments or <clears throat> yes, Elaine. Going back earlier to uh, Stuart's comments about solar panels on the parish, um, on their parish centre, parish hall. Um, if you want to come and see the uh, solar panels on uh, St. Paul's Church Parish Centre, uh, you'll see that they've, they've been very well done. We, we got a grant for it, but we went for a higher spec and we actually got more panels put on on the roof. Um, so you'll be very welcome to come and have a look. Oh, I'd be delighted to come and have a look at that. It's getting ideas. Um, I found this seminar very, very rewarding. It's the first time I've put my head above the parapet. Sonia has been encouraging us down at Oystermouth to start thinking about these issues. But uh, the pandemic has made life rather difficult and our first priority has been worship up to now. Um, but uh, yes, I'm very grateful for being able to join and uh, um, my mind is already working <laughs> as to who we might put in charge of it down there. <laughs> Thanks, thank you very much to all of you. That's good to hear. I think it's, you know, the important thing, one thing I'd like to say, which has been said before, is, is to just take the small steps, isn't it? And just do what you can. It, it is an overwhelming topic and you can easily just sit there, see the whole thing and go, mm. can't do all of that, but you know, Eileen has uh, proved that they've experienced the way, well, and, and St Paul's down in Sketty have as well. They've they've done what they can when they can. I know they've done some tree planting of new more recently um, and looked at the energy in the church, but trying to tackle the energy in some of your big church buildings is enough of a headache in itself and that could easily put you off. So maybe, maybe you don't want to start with that. Maybe you'd like to start with some really small, quick wins and some of these recycling ideas and you know, if you've got a little bit of land outside, plant some wildflower seeds and don't mow your grass for a couple of months or just simple little things that will start making a difference and start a conversation. I guarantee you, if you don't cut the lawn outside, you'll start a conversation. It might not be quite the good one that you want. It might be a little bit of, doesn't this look untidy? But it's it's starting that conversation and then you can explain to people why it isn't being cut and, you know, we're helping the butterflies and the bees and all the species that uh, like living in the longer grass. I'd also encourage you to look for uh, local partners here at uh, the cathedrals. We've uh, we've partnered with Breck and Mind and we're having the big launch of our heritage garden and workshop and uh, nature trail uh, in the what, 7th of August. Uh, and, um, you know, we're able to accomplish a lot in that uh, because they're doing a lot of the work for us. You know, we're largely just providing the, the space for them, but, but the partnership then gives rise to other relationships and <clears> other <throat> opportunities. Um, so uh, I, would, I would certainly, especially for a smaller congregation, which may find some of this work rather daunting, you may find that there's people out there looking for a space. And if you're uh, like the cathedral um, located at, a, at a, 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 an ancient church, then, then that heritage can, um, can, can tie into this as a place that really draws people uh, to, uh, to as, a, as, a, as a place where you can do a community garden or, or any number of, of things. Um, because think, many think, of our churches have an emotional power in their yes. communities. 
I certainly think we've got that at Oystermouth because our churchyard is square. And the reason that it, it is square is that it was built by the Romans. Yeah, that, that gives you a little bit of heritage. Huge, heri <laughs> huge heritage there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try getting in touch with the uh, Mumbles Development Trust if you haven't already done that. They're quite very keen on environmental projects. They have yeah. been for a number of years, whether there's a bit of discussion there. You know, people, yeah. as Mark said, people have got different skills and different um, knowledge within different partner organisations. Maybe they can apply for some funding that you can't, but they can carry out their project close to your church grounds or, you know, yeah, yeah, just that mutual benefit of helping each other, really. Yeah, great. And you can also combine things. So like our, our heritage garden is a, is a lovely community garden, but it's, it's, it's essentially uh, a ministry because it's being gardened by people who are struggling with mental health uh, as, a, as a form of, of, of therapy. So you're not just there doing environmental things, but you're, you're promoting well-being um, for people in, in, in need in, in the community. So there's, there's ways of doing joined up thinking in these, these areas. Uh, I suggest so, people think about links with local schools. Yeah, yep, exactly. So schools are, are, are and, and especially, you know, obviously environmentalism and conservation and, and green living is very much being added to curricula. Uh, so this Many is schools like our very, local are, are eco schools. Yep, yeah. All right, anything else? Uh, could, I, could I ask about um, where one could get a grant for solar panels uh, or to help towards them or, you know, other types of uh, bigger heating, you know, requirements? I can't give you an immediate answer to that. Years ago, there were lots of energy providers who were doing that and there were lots of other sort of agencies, for want of a better word, who are doing that. I think they're not, I don't believe that there's that many at the moment, unfortunately. It's not um, part of the government plan. It might, I haven't seen that they've got any new grants at the moment. That isn't to say that there aren't going to be any coming on stream because I would imagine they would be, again, they may be for domestic properties. See, that's the only thing, as I was saying, because the housing stock is so old. Hmm. local authority and government's target to try and do something and retrofit in is probably focused more on domestic than hmm. sort of community buildings like churches but um although a lot of churches have such a big area yeah that could potentially you know they could get a lot of gain by just by one hmm. thing that could serve a community even you know could, could feed into a community from the church um providing the surface area um, yeah. Let me, I'll, I'll have a think about it. We'll, um, I'll pause. I'm sure we've got people within our network who could probably say immediately, yes, try this, this or this. Okay. Um, I'll, pass, I'll pass the message on via jail if that's all right. Yeah, that's Should great. Thank you. Um, just a, just a, a comment, couple of comments um, on the other ex extreme. You, you're just saying about uh, uh, leaving an area to go wild in the graveyard. Um, just a, a suggestion is to put a notice up why you're doing it. We had yeah. a lot of complaints, well not a lot, just a few complaints really, and that got bigger than it needed to be just because we didn't tell people what we were doing. So mm -hmm. perhaps just putting something in the local um, community group, you know, newspaper or, or on you know, uh, Facebook page or whatever mm -hmm. to say what you're doing um, would probably stop people complaining and they might take a bit more interest as well when they go past mm -hmm. looking for things. And can I thank you, um, as well, uh, Renew Wales for um, teaming up with Caring for God's Acre because um, that's been really helpful. Um, mm. That organisation are, are very good and you've been working with them, haven't you, to support um, grassland surveys and so on. Is that right? They, they mentioned you in, in being in... Okay. The, okay. the, the, together with Renew Wales, <laughs> Caring for God's Acre is doing more for free with your support, okay. I think. I know we've been at some events where they've been represented. I don't think we're actually working with them per se, but. All um, right, so it sounded like it from there, what they've been telling us. But uh, okay. 
anyway, um, but they're a good organisation if you want some help with planning um, and doing things in your churchyards. Um, I think they're mainly they, Powys, though. Is it? Oh, right. Okay. But, Jill, um, I just remembered the um, information sheet that we put together when we did our online event. I can send you a copy of that to um, send around to everybody. Mm -hmm. Off the top of my head, without checking, we've got lots of different lists, uh, links to websites, mm. um, Noah's, no, Operation Noah, um, the Care and the God's Acre. There, there are lots of links. I, I, yeah, there's lots of links on there and different sort of suggestions, and I think even some books and other things. So yeah, I'll, I'll send that to Jill to send on to all of you as well. Yeah. And the Can I just? God's uh, Acre. Yeah. Sorry. What you were saying, Kerry, about letting people know, one of our churches is, is um, wilding their churchyard in, in certain areas, and they've put up a big um, sign in, right at the beginning of where it's wild, explaining what they're doing, yes, and people have do. been really, really on side with that. So particularly as that, that church gets lots of visitors who mm. might not be local, might not see the Facebook um, pages. Yeah. That, yes. That's been really successful yeah thanks yeah that's what we're planning to do as well next time but uh, we just did it in haste really letting an area grow wild um yeah as one does uh, the rest of it looked very tidy so it made a bit more of a contrast <laughs> but, um, there's little signs in the grounds of um morriston hospital so i'm living on the road behind morriston hospital they've got just little placards um Oh gosh, what's it called? Space for Nature as part of the Space for Nature project that the Botanic Gardens in Carmarthen was running, where they wanted people to plant some wildflower seeds mm. in their garden. It was during lockdown because they couldn't get to the hospitals themselves to plant them in, but they wanted people to sort of house, if you want a better word, the plants for a couple of months and then they were asking them to take them over so I've took some over to Marston Hospital and there's lots of little sections up and down the main road there where they've just got a little small placard little wooden placard which they put in and it's I said it's called Space for Nature or something so you can sort of mm -hmm. see the reason why they've kept the grass really tall in those little areas. Mm. Yeah. John was mentioning about um, investments, ethical investment. And I think I'm right that that includes your current account. So you can look at different places where you could move your current account to mm. if you're wanting to have a look at that. Yes, it, it's more the, whether the, the bank is ethically yeah. Uh, investing in things rather than what you personally or what the what the church is investing in although there's yeah. that side of it if the church is investing in things but it's what which bank you go with um and tridos apparently is meant to be one of the best that yeah. ethically um invest invests ethically so and the co-op bank for the standard account okay right yes Although you need to make your own comparisons and we shouldn't be giving advice on where you invest. Absolutely. <laughs> Can I just add this? Um, mm. You have got an endowment or anything which we have in Lan Hamlach, which we, it's unfortunate that it's linked to keeping the, the churchyard very tidy, but we got given a very large amount of money. And um, we've got that invested with the... Um, CCLA, which is the um, um, Ethical Investment Fund. We've moved our investment over into the Ethical Investment Fund from a, a general fund. And um, the interesting thing about the Ethical Investment Fund is it is now outperforming all of the other funds. So it's um, it's been a very um, good thing to do and has made us feel, um, you know, um, good about that because we're able to use the residual um, income to offset some of the other expenses we have in our church once once we've been able to keep the churchyard neat and tidy so um 
CCLA, it's um, it's uh, the lo um, church commissioners, local authorities, and charities. So it's um, it's for churches, local authorities, and any ch charities. Um, if you don't know about that. All right. Well, I think I think there was some good good questions, some good discussion there. Um, and you can always um, you can always be in touch with with uh, us at the uh, eco, on the Eco Church Committee here for the diocese. Uh, for those of you who are pursuing things, the you know God bless you in your in your efforts. Do do communicate with us. Do let us know how things are going. Um, and if you know things go so well that uh, this is inspiring for you, we we would always love to have more people. Uh, on the on the committee and helping us, uh, especially in the northern part of the diocese. But um, uh, I, this is the beginning of a journey for us all, and uh, and it's it is exciting and inspiring all by itself that we are on this journey, uh, and and the chance it offers us not only to 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 do what is needed nowadays but 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 also to to have our faith and and our our christian identity renewed uh in the process so so thank you all for for coming do let other people know about this uh andrew yes you want to just to say you will remember that you were being recorded if you want to get access to the recording in a few days time, if you get in touch with Jill, she'll give you the link. Yes. Yep. Uh, yeah, and Delith. Sorry, I, I can't remember if the our generic email address was at the end of the presentation. I think it was, but if anybody wanted to contact us at Rene Wales, it's info at renewales.org.uk. And we said, if any of you are thinking of embarking on the Eco Church or or not, but just wanted some support and some help, send an email to that um, address and we can uh, link you up with our local coordinator who can start that conversation with you, really. It'd be great to have you on board. And we have been extended until June 2022 now. We were coming to an end, so we've got more or less another year to um, to gather more people into the fold. So it'd be, um, be lovely to see any more of you coming on board as well. Thank you very much. Wonderful. All right, with that, unless anybody wants to add anything, I think we will we will call it an evening. Well, you all have a, a very good night. And, and once again, thanks for, for joining us. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Yep. Thank Bye. You.